Now, coming up, gun violence is down in the city by more than 15% from last year. But for any victim of it, the state, that, that stat is little consolation. To shed light on the problem, uh, national officials designated this week as National Gun Violence Survivors Week. And today, local leaders held a roundtable discussion with those impacted by gun violence in Brooklyn. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon live in downtown Brooklyn with more. Sonia. And David, it's not only National Gun Violence Survivors Week, it's also an election year. And those who have been impacted by gun violence and lost loved ones are hoping to turn their pain into purpose. Listen to us as survivors. You don't want to be in these shoes. For those who've lost loved ones to gun violence, the pain is always still fresh. I can count the bullets that was on the floor. Some have become vocal advocates. Jackie Rowe Adams lost two sons. She founded Harlem Mother Save. We started off with five mothers, and now we have 50 plus mothers and fathers. Oressa Napper Williams founded Not Another Child after losing her son. He never got the chance or the opportunity to live out his dream. At a round table organized by Congressman Dan Goldman at Brooklyn Borough Hall, they spoke with sympathetic policymakers like Councilmember Alexa Aviles, who lost her father when she was five. And I kind of feel like I still want to cry. I'm a 51 year old woman. The hope is to reach policymakers who may not be as sympathetic at the federal level. Extreme risk protection orders make it so that we can people having to go through what my family and I have gone through. Even though New Yorkers overwhelmingly support gun safety legislation, there are a lot of Republican members of Congress from New York, and they can and need to hear from everyday New Yorkers who are sick and tired of hearing about two mass shootings every day. Allison Glenn lost her brother to gun violence and hopes they're listening. The ways that these the, the mothers today spoke confidently about their children and are using their pain as momentum to change is very inspiring. So how to make real change? Well, advocates and elected officials here are urging New Yorkers to get engaged in congressional races this year, six in particular in New York that could help determine the balance of power in the House of Representatives. Congressman Goldman says without Democrats in control, it is almost impossible to initiate a discussion or legislation when it comes to gun safety. Live in downtown Brooklyn, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.